okay? You know these clothes are for real women. Right? If you're trans, chances are you've been there. Look at you. You're not a real woman. Look at all that stubble. You're just another perverted man going to dress up. Dysphoria. That overwhelming voice in your head that tells you that your gender isn't right. That how you are is wrong. Dysphoria. That bitch. It's super important to tackle dysphoria for our own mental and physical health. It's been estimated that around 71% of transgender people will experience some form of mental illness in their lifetime. This includes depression, anxiety, mood disorders, eating disorders, and even suicide attempts. Dysphoria, in short, scary. But there's ways to combat it. There's ways to cope. Self-care is probably the first port of call for when dysphoria strikes. Treat yourself. Find something that you find calming. Listen to your favorite music. Play with some animals. Even do yoga. Looking after your emotions is so important. Do what you can to make yourself feel at ease. To feel whole. And sometimes these calming techniques might not work, especially when you're at a crisis point with your dysphoria. Dysphoria works in crazy, bitchy ways. So it's important to have an emergency backup plan. Do some deep breathing. Call a hotline. Talk to someone who understands gender dysphoria. Find something that will help ground you and bring you back to Earth. Sometimes using items specific to your real gender can help with dysphoria. For trans girls, this includes bras, breast forms, you know, wigs, padding, and cute outfits. <laughs> and for trans guys, binders, packers, and wearing more masculine clothing can help with dysphoria. And if you can't wear them 24-7, you can always try and hide them underneath your clothes. Like, I used to wear tights underneath my jeans. And there's even clothes that are androgynous enough to be able to go unnoticed by a majority of people. Creating things is a fantastic way of channeling all of your negative feelings, all of that dysphoria and distress into something constructive and even something beautiful. You could draw yourself in a way that expresses your true gender or maybe experiment with makeup, make videos, take selfies, play around with some crafts or even sculpt something. Whatever you enjoy doing, whatever you enjoy creating, creating something is a fantastic way to channel your emotions and provide so much relief to dysphoria. Dysphoria sucks and it can be relentless. So we gotta be prepared. We can fight against dysphoria and we can win. These have just been some ways to cope with dysphoria, but there are heaps more. Comment below with what techniques you use to dispel dysphoria. And remember, you're valid, you're loved, and your gender is real. Don't let the voices in your head or anyone else tell you otherwise. Make sure to keep being awesome guys and keep being you. See ya.